What's up everybody? Welcome back to Max Grill Shack. My name is Shane and today we are firing up the Gosney Dome and this time we are going to get a wood fire going in there. First wood fire in the dome. It's going to be good. Stick around. All right, the time has come. We're going to uh, get a wood fire going in here and um, get our, our oven preheated. I want a nice cold bed. We're not doing any uh, pizza today. We are cooking a flank steak. I've got that marinating right now. We're also gonna roast some potatoes in there. I know this uh, oven is capable of a lot more than pizza and I wanna give that a go. So uh, let's get building the fire. So I've got little uh, splits of oak wood here that I've uh, gotten down pretty small and I'm just going to kind of go for a log cabin style uh, stack in here. Try to match up the pieces as evenly as possible. I've got a, a tumbleweed fire starter. I'm just going to tuck in the middle there. Go a couple rows high and uh, get this fire going. All right, so I'm just going to start right in the middle of the oven so we can uh, get that deck preheating. Honestly, it'll just be easier to manage right in the center as well. Pull our chimney cap off here. And uh, I've, I've inserted the ceramic plate over the gas burner. I got the mesh uh, screen over the wood side. So we're getting oxygen from there. So once uh, we've established a nice fire and coal bed, We'll be able to just push that all over to the side and uh, just operate from there. So, fire in the hole. Let's go. Easy peasy. Turn on my uh, built-in thermometer here so we can keep an eye on our ambient temperatures. Just want to get this started nice and early here so we can establish a good coal bed. Okay, our wood is burnt down nicely. We got some coals there. Also picked up the uh, wood rack here for the for the dome. So uh, gonna give this a go. Pop this in there and uh, move our coals over on top of it and get set up for uh, our steak. There you have it. Nothing too fancy. Pretty low profile. The feet aren't very high, but. Uh, it's not that big of a pizza oven, honestly, so um, being a bit shallower will be beneficial. So this conforms right to the back. I believe like that. So what I'm gonna do is try to move my, uh, my coal right on top of here. Should be wearing gloves because this is pretty toasty. All right, and then just gonna get this pushed over, tucked right in there. It's like a glove. Gonna clean up uh, a few of these ashes here, brush them over, add uh, another split on top there, just to keep uh, things rolling. Get that right on top there. And uh, 
We're a step closer to uh, getting our steak going. Okay, so the uh, dome is fully preheated with our uh, oak wood splits there. Um, rocking like six, 700 degrees right now, which is plenty hot for what we need. And uh, before we get our, uh, our marinated flank steak in there, we're gonna roast up some potatoes in a lodge cast iron pan. So I got my uh, cast iron pan right here. I believe that's just uh, a 10 inch square. And uh, simply enough here, I've got some uh, potatoes that I've parboiled uh, just to soften them up. And then what I did uh, was kind of give them a good toss and it makes them uh, a little bit rougher on the edges. So I'm gonna throw some olive oil in the pan, get these potatoes in here, get them in the oven. They're gonna be fluffy, crispy, delicious, and uh, not a whole lot uh, done to them there. I did throw a little bit of olive oil in there already, a little bit of uh, kosher salt, but I'm gonna add a uh, half decent amount of uh, olive oil to the pan here as well, just to almost kind of fry them up a little bit, get them nice and crispy. And uh, simply enough, we'll just get these in the pan. All right, there we go. And I'm just gonna space these out all individually here. So they all got uh, room to crisp up on their own. We don't want them layered on here. And it shouldn't take too long um since they're parboiled but uh, like i said we, we got to get this heated up and we want them to get nice and crispy and uh there we are all layered up let's get it in the dome just tuck that into the back there sitting at 615 fahrenheit right now and uh just going to let those ride out a bit, keep an eye on them, let them crisp up and, uh, and give them a, a turn as we need to, but we'll keep an eye on that. Okay. We got a good fire going in here now. You can hear these, uh, Potatoes sizzling pretty good. Oh yeah, they're cooking up quick. Nice sizzle on them. A little bit of color on top even. That is very hot. But uh, I'm gonna grab this guy here. This is where this mantle comes in really handy. Can extend uh, beyond the oven floor as we need to. Simply enough, we'll just give these a bit of a, a toss. And let them keep uh, crisping up. Looking mighty nice. Gonna give them one more toss here in our oil. Flip them over. We want these nice and crispy. We're certainly getting there. Ideally, I would have cast iron without a handle. That way I could kind of spin it all the way around in here. But uh, ultimately, I'll just have to turn the, uh, the potatoes around instead of the pan to, to get that even heat. Obviously, on the uh, fire side, it's uh, considerably more crispy on those ones here. But we'll just mix them up a little bit and get them back in. Continue to roast. Okay, it looks like these potatoes are crisping up nicely. Pull them out, give them a check. Ooh. Check out that color. I think we're pretty well there, but 
Trying to give these a little mix, make sure uh, all sides are crisp on these guys. Give them an extra little flip here, mix around. I think we're almost there. Oh, I'm excited for these little spuds. They're gonna be tasty. That much, I am sure. Just another minute here. Back in the heat. Okay, these potatoes are done. Ooh, nice golden crispy. Gonna set these over down here. Get them out of the pan. Really quickly, I'm going to get uh, my next piece of cast iron. My next piece of cast iron in the grill. Get this heated up and ready for our steak. Okay, let's pop these out of our pan. We've got some paper towel here to soak up any of that excess oil. Ooh, those look crispy. I'm excited. All right, there we go. Let's roll this over here. And uh, while these uh, rest over here and cool down, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of uh, flavored salt here. This is a rosemary garlic. Um, flake salt and while it's hot just quickly gonna hit it give us a little extra flavor there we go a little little roll around and uh, we'll get our cast iron preheated what I have there is actually uh, Uni's dual-sided grizzler plate um, had that obviously when I had my uni pizza oven, actually never used it. And uh, it just fits in the, uh, in the dome with the, uh, the wood rack accessory in the corner there. So it's a little tight, but i um, going to get that fired up nice and hot. And uh, I got my flank steak here that's uh, been resting out at ambient temperature for close to an hour here now. So it'll be ready to go. So we'll meet you back when we're going to get that steak in. Our cast iron pan in the dome is coming up to temp. We're, uh, we're pretty well right where we need to be, right around 600 degrees. So I'm gonna pull their flank steak out of our marinade here. Uh, honestly, nothing fancy for the marinade. I went with uh, some W sauce, that Worcester-based uh, style sauce, a little red wine vinegar, and uh, it seems hella tender. I like it. Um, it's probably gone about 24 hours now, so it's been in there a while, but, uh, what I, what I'm going to do here is just kind of dry it off a little bit so we can get a nice crust. We don't want to be too wet on the outside. Just a little flip, pat it off. All right, looks good to me. It's gonna have a decent amount of flavor in it as is, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with uh, one of my favorite steak rubs. Um, this is Lux Barbecue's Onyx AP rub. Um, I really like it on steak. It's uh, salty, peppery, a little bit of spice, a little paprika, a little chili pepper, um, pretty coarse. I don't need to go uh, too heavy here on it, but uh, I do wanna, do wanna give it a little bit here for sure on both sides. That flank is nice and tender. All right, there we go. Seasoned up and uh, it's time to get this in the dome. 
All right, there we have it. Grab our cast iron, pull it out a little bit here. I'm sure we're nice and hot. I'm gonna put the, uh, the thicker end towards the fire here just to try to help it cook a little more evenly. Press it in. All right, there we go. We'll keep a close eye on it here and uh, give it a flip probably after a few minutes and uh, keep those temps watched. We're, uh, we're pretty high, obviously we're cooking um, intensely on the bottom with that preheated cast iron and uh, with a bit of flame roll over top. So this isn't gonna take very long at all. Okay, let's pull this back. Already getting some nice color. Check the bottom. Looking nice. Sticking maybe just a little bit. Not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and give this uh, a little spin here. Tuck it back in. Let it go for another uh, couple minutes or so. All right, let's take another peek here. Getting nice color. I think I'm gonna give this a flip. Once again, kind of getting that thicker side towards our fire here. Looks good, smells amazing. Let's tuck this back in and let her ride. I'm gonna add one more little split here on this side. We're not dropping temps too bad, but uh, I wouldn't mind a little more fire, a little more flame, a little more flavor. All right, I got some nice sizzle action going on here. Let's give us another quick peek. Getting some real good color on this corner. Give it another 90 degree turn here. I'm gonna give her a quick check with the uh, the trusty thermopen. Oh, and I need to get this out of here. All right. He's done. I'm just gonna throw it on this foil just to save for a little bit of cleanup here. And let's uh, just let this rest for probably a solid 10 minutes or so. And uh, we'll meet you back when it's time to slice on in. Okay, our flank steak has been resting for a solid 10 minutes here now. Just uh, loosely uh, on top of some foil so that uh, save a little bit of a mess here. And uh, I think it's time to cut in and give this a try. All right, there we go. And uh, of course, with any uh, meat, especially flank steak, you want to cut across the grain. And I can see on this one, my grains are running like this here. Uh, it's pretty wide. So what I'm going to do is actually cut this probably into uh, three sections here. with the grain, see how we did. I do think uh, we've got a little bit over on me, that cooked real fast. It's a little pink in there, probably closer to a medium than a medium rare. But uh, I'm gonna grab the center portion here and slice these across the grain on a, on a bit of an angle here, just to help for uh, a really tender bite. 
And usually a flank steak is going to be uh, thick on one, thin on the other. So you're going to get a bit of a uh, a more well done cook on the lean and uh, a little more rare on the thicker end. So it's a good uh, it's a good cut if you have multiple people who want it in different done uh, donesses of, of rareness. <laughs> All right, there we go. Got that all sliced up. Just gonna set these off behind it here. I can't help myself. There we go, we got some of our flank cut up. Let's grab our uh, roasted potatoes that were fried in the cast iron with some olive oil. Let's pile these up here. As they say, you eat with your eyes first, so uh, try to make it look uh, presentable. All right, going to grab just a Another little pinch here of my uh, rosemary garlic, finishing flake salt. A little more on top of our potatoes here, because it's delicious. And a little bit on our steak here, because why not? And there you have it, folks. We have a marinated flank steak grilled in the uh, Gosney Dome wood fire. Uh, we got our roasted potatoes, nice and crispy, super fluffy on the inside, hella delicious. And uh, I say we give this uh, a quick sample. Certainly a little uh, over what I would like, but uh, I'm not gonna complain. Still quite tender. Great flavor. That W sauce uh, marinade certainly comes through, which is not a bad thing at all. The dome does it all. All right, I'm looking forward to some of these uh, crispy little uh, fluffy potato bites cooked in the dome as well. Ooh, that's delicious. You definitely have to try this if you, if you haven't. So easy, but uh, very good. Get a little bit of juice in there. Right, and there you have it guys we have uh, marinated flank steak and some uh, crispy roasted potatoes in the gosney dome i think that worked out pretty damn awesome i couldn't have uh, hoped for really any better results than that and uh, i do appreciate you guys sticking around uh, it was a fun cook i'm looking forward to trying uh, many other uh, dishes out of the dome so versatile certainly not just a pizza oven but uh, if you like what you saw today and you want to stick around for some more, please hit that subscribe button and uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. And uh, stay tuned for, for next week where we grill up more goodness outside. Don't forget, stay hydrated. Cheers.